This is gonna be the biggest game of AIDS I'm ever gonna play. Alright, so what's going on guys? It's your boy Mitch, welcome back to the channel. Now, before I start off this commentary, I'm gonna say this is the last fucking time you guys are ever ever gonna see that damn intro that is the worst intro i've ever had made i've had that thing for months i've been trying to get rid of it and finally i'm, I'm I, I ordered one from this one guy okay he's making it right now he's rendering it out it's gonna be uh what the hell did i just step on well yeah okay sorry 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 but it's gonna be up tomorrow guys i'm probably gonna upload that as like a site for a video just so you guys can see it and admire it and just look at it and stuff like that and i'm kind of excited for that so just stay tuned for that tomorrow i also got my rage Taj going up tomorrow so if you guys like those that's going up tomorrow, so uh, just be ready. Now, we're gonna get to the gameplay, guys. Basically, what I got here is just a Weevil nuke. But it's not just any nuke. It's not just any nuke, guys. Come on now. I mean, I wouldn't just upload any regular nuke now. You guys know that. Now, this was against a full six man party. Now, the thing about this six man party, they were complete ass, okay? Usually, when you think of six man party, you think of, okay, sweats, you're gonna try hards, you're gonna just rage and get mad that you're gonna be dying every 10 seconds, you won't be able to push any flag. It's gonna be annoying, but it went the opposite. It was exact opposite in this one. So guys, just try and enjoy the gameplay in the background while you listen to me mumble and rant about stupid things. So with that being said, guys, now this Weevil actually did not really have any attachments on it. I believe it only really had um, grip on it. It was about a level one. It was pretty much like a level two or level three Weevil. It didn't have any of the attachments I wanted on it. I didn't have my extended mag. I didn't have my fast mags. And I didn't, you know, I didn't have my quick draw. I usually run quick draw on a lot of my guns. I don't know about SMGs. I usually run grip most of the time, but uh, I don't really run it too much. Uh, mainly extended mags and fast mags. Fast mags are definitely needed, especially when you're in the spawn and you're rushing, going for nukes and stuff like that. And just to not really have extended or fast mags or extended mags really like even kind of made it a little bit more challenging, I guess, for me. Because I've been playing with this gun for wait, maybe about what? one game before this not even it was about it was about like a quarter of a game we joined in late and we were just playing and i pulled it out but um level one pretty much weevil i guess you could say i mean it was a pretty easy nuke i mean like i said these guys their reaction times were terrible mainly i believe to the fact that they were not from our server when you play these games and these a lot of these older games like black ops 3 still has a lot of people playing it don't get me wrong but I just feel like it's just kind of annoying because you see a lot of people from just terrible connections. And these guys were just three barring every two seconds. They, they were skipping. It was super annoying. You can't really tell in the gameplay because the 60 FPS looks a lot different when I upload it than when I'm actually playing in game. It looks a lot different. You can't really tell. But in game, you can totally tell. It's totally seeable. On YouTube, not exactly. I mean, three bars in the fake, all the four, fake four bars they were having on their team. As well as ours, it was just not a really good server, and I actually happened to drop this, which I was pretty excited about. They were running brekkies, as you see right there. I was scared shitless when I heard brekkies, but I mean, nonetheless, I still pulled it off. These guys are just oblivious to everything. Everything that was even on the map. You know, they weren't looking at their UAV. They weren't pre-firing. They weren't pre-aiming. They didn't really know what the hell was going on. They, they, I feel like they've been playing this game a while, but they just didn't know. And really how to work it or like how the game really works. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to pre-aim. You got to pre-fire if you want to get those easy kills. You know, you want to be ready for when they jump out at you and stuff like that. But anyway, guys. Another sad thing about this gameplay. Cameron died off his nuke in this gameplay. And I was really depressed about it. I was playing with three other people in this. I was playing with Dismo and Sasso. Sas Sas I don't know, guys. I'll put their links down in the description. If you guys want to check them out. Remember to drop a sub on them and to like up their videos. They're going to be uploading today as well. So just check them out, guys. Tell them Mitch sent you. I'd really appreciate that. But anyway, guys. Um, yeah, like basically playing a three-man. Dropping haters all the time. We were just trying to help each other out. Because it was getting kind of frustrating. Just me and Cameron playing in a two-man. You know, and not really being able to do much. Once we had got that third person, it made it so much easier to get on streaks. And we were finally able to drop some nukes. Like, pretty easily, actually. I mean, I just feel like solo and playing in, like... Playing solo is just one thing. Solo is like another level of hard and just annoying for me. I feel a lot more comfortable when I have people there to back me up, you know, and help me out a bit when I need it. You know what I'm saying? Someone to call out to, because I don't really use game chat. I don't talk to random people, you know what I'm saying? So, just typical, like, everyday kind of, you know, lobbies 
sometimes get the best of you when you play solo. When you play in a party, it makes it that much more fun, that much easier, and it's just a whole lot better, in my opinion. But um, anyway, guys, if you guys did enjoy this gameplay, remember to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I'm going to be ending the commentary off pretty soon now. You guys get to see my live reaction for me getting the nuke. I was pretty excited about it. But um, yeah, you guys can drop a like. Let's, hit, let's aim for like 25 likes. 25 likes sounds really good. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. 25 likes, guys. We hit that. And uh, tomorrow, like I said, I'm uploading my Rage Taj. You guys like things like that. Um, you guys did really good, actually, on my last Rage Taj last week. Take, these things take a lot of time to make, you know, because I don't rage for every day, all day, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta take a break sometimes, you know? I'm not always playing video games. I'm not always, you know, sweating, trying to drop gameplays and stuff like that, you know? I'm out doing stuff with my life and stuff, kind of. Not really, I sit at home all day, but anyway, guys, like I said, 25 likes, blah, 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 like up the bit. Follow me on Twitter, all my links are down in the description, and I'll see you guys later, peace out. 25,000 brekkie kills. Oh had God. a negative KD, and I died eight off of fucking nuked out with this. I lost my shit, like this game. How is someone negative loot? Like a thousand lucky kills. Close to a nuke, I'm my first one on this account. Hold on, let me get these. Yeah, yeah. Almost got mine. I don't know if I got it though. Hold up. Oh yeah, I got it. Finally. Oh, I got a nuke on this account. Oh, dude. I should have had a nuke that game. But...